experiment, we're going to look at how temperature changes in some icy water and also in some just boiled water. Um, I'm going to record my results in a table uh, that looks like this. So I have got the time in seconds and you can see I've completed my times already. So I'm going to take the temperature uh, for 260 seconds and I'm going to take a temperature reading every 20 seconds. I'm going to look at the temperature of the hot beaker and I'm going to measure that in degrees centigrade and I'm going to measure the temperature of the cold beaker and that is going to be in degrees centigrade as well. Now in this tub here I have some icy water so I'm going to put 100 millilitres of water into that beaker and I'm just going to reboil the kettle so that the water when it comes out is just boiled. I'm going to put 100 millilitres of this water into that beaker. I'm going to start my stopwatch and take the temperature readings right now. So I've got 7 degrees and 86 degrees. So 86 degrees in my hot beaker at 0 seconds and 7 degrees in the cold beaker at zero seconds. Now 20 seconds is already gone so I'm going to take my temperature in the hot beaker that's 85 and it's still 7 in the cold beaker. So I'm taking uh, the temperature every 20 seconds so we're nearly at 40 seconds now. Now so I'm going to take another temperature reading in the hot beaker that is now 84 degrees and this is still seven in the cold beaker. Okay, we're nearly coming up to 60 seconds, one minute, and then we'll take another temperature reading. Okay, so that's now. We've got 82 degrees in the hot beaker and still seven degrees in the cold beaker. Okay, and that's 80 seconds, and it's 80 degrees in the hot beaker, and still 7 degrees in the cold beaker. So that's 100 seconds, and the temperature is now 78 in the hot beaker and it is eight degrees in the cold beaker. We're just coming up to two minutes, that's 120 seconds. There we go, okay, so we're at 77 degrees in the hot beaker and eight degrees in the cold beaker. So we're almost at 140 seconds, that's now. So the hot beaker is at 75 degrees and the cold beaker is at 8 degrees. Okay, we're just coming out to 160 seconds, that's now. And it's 74 degrees in the hot beaker. And it's 8 degrees in the cold beaker. We're just coming up to 3 minutes. That's 180 seconds. Okay, that's now. So it's 73 degrees in the hot beaker. And it is 8 degrees still in the cold beaker. So this is going to be 200 seconds now. 
it's 71 degrees in the hot beaker and 8 degrees still in the cold beaker. Okay, that is 220 seconds. It's now 70 degrees in the hot beaker and 8 degrees in the cold beaker. So we're just about to have 240 seconds, that's four minutes. Okay, so we have got 69 degrees in the hot beaker and the cold beaker is at nine degrees. Uh, we are going to do one last reading at 260 seconds. So that is 68 degrees centigrade in the hot beaker and 9 degrees in the cold beaker. Okay. So there is my completed table. You can see that there's quite a big variation in the temperature in the hot beaker. It cools down really very quickly in comparison to how quickly the cold beaker is heating up. So the cold beaker only changes by a couple of degrees during the course of those four and a bit minutes, whereas the, cold, the, sorry, the hot beaker cools down very rapidly. But you'll notice that the, that cooling, the rate at which it's cooling, slows down as it cools down. So when it's really hot to start with, it very rapidly cools down, and once it's getting a bit closer to room temperature, the rate at which it cools down slows. Okay. 